name is Brian, and I'm the founder of DonorPath. And we are a platform that works with nonprofit organizations. Now, before you lean back and start checking your email, I want to explain to you that the nonprofit organization, that's a misnomer. They're spending a lot of money to grow and sustain their missions. For example, to put into context, right here in Illinois, there are 9,517 nonprofits, and they spend $254 million a year to raise $981 million a year. And so to put this into context, I'm going to tell you my story and how I contributed to that $254 million. Like every entrepreneur early in their career, we know everything there is to know about everything. And so I was hired by the Detroit Symphony Orchestra to raise $4 million to support their annual fund. And to do that, I had to begin a campaign of direct mail, the most effective media channel that we know today, right? <laughs> so I spent a month chairing the pretty committee, thinking about the envelope color and the perfect stamp, and was ready to send my appeal, only I got some new information. And so instead of uh, sending this out in the wake of the nation's largest tragedy, we held back. And in the ensuing weeks, I learned about the tens of million dollars that was being given to disaster relief through the Red Cross for uh, the victims of 9-11, of course, the cities ravaged by the disaster. So naturally, I went to my CFO and said, Pam, I would like to build the nation's preeminent and first online giving portal for the arts. Because if it's working for the Red Cross, it's certainly going to work for the Detroit Symphony. So I spent the next 10 weeks working with the best team of consultants, experts, and uh, researchers, and a focus group, that being just myself, to come up with this breakthrough <laughs> email campaign. That drum roll raised $1,700. Of course, I wasn't the most popular person at the Detroit <laughs> Symphony. So I turned to a tiny publicly traded uh, company called Blackbaud. They produce, that's the sales force of the nonprofit sector. And for the low, low cost of $62,000, they produced this report for me. But it wasn't until I took this data and actually hired an expert to work with me to say, what the hell does this data mean? That we actually hit our goal. But the reality is the vast majority of nonprofit organizations, of which there are 1.3 million in the, in the United States, don't have the resources to sustain their mission. And so what we're doing is focusing on that 79% that are run by what we affectionately call the chief everything officer. The person that's delivering the program, uh, engaging the board, balancing the books, taking out the trash, cleaning the toilet, and oh yes, fundraising. So instead of trying to disrupt, we work with. We integrate with more than 37 um, equivalencies of Salesforce that are native to the nonprofit sector, even if it's just QuickBooks, Excel, or Salesforce. And we uh, leverage that with other existing technology and match it with the, the world's largest uh, professional association of fundraisers, and we make it simple. Again, from our friends at Blackboard, we're turning a, a very easy and intuitive interface that you see here into something radically simple that is donor path. And in this platform, we are simply monitoring progress a goal, giving basic key performance indicators that have been designed by funders and fundraisers and philanthropists. And the secret sauce is imagine if your Salesforce account was linked with an expert who has done that job before and had an exit or sold a business or retired very successfully. And so we do that by creating a match.com algorithm for both the organization and the expert based upon the organization's size, their staff composition, what money they're raising, and from what source. And then we go and match that with our growing legion of fundraising consultants to come up with their top three matches of which they can, which they can begin a virtual relationship with. In terms of the market, we're at a unique intersection between uh, software, what we call software-enabled service. We're neither just technology and we're certainly not a, a service firm. Instead, we're in the middle. But what's great about being in the middle is those partners actually become our sales channel. We have a team of seasoned experts in the nonprofit sector, an investment capital of $700,000 that was both our seed and bridge funding. But we're not going into Series A because we develop partnerships with um, the corporate foundations who are buying pur purchasing grants, or excuse me, blocks of donor path for their organizations. And our needs are simple, inbound marketing, 
angels and philanthropists. And if anyone knows the governor, I need to talk to you afterwards. Thank you.